Greetings everyone, it is I, Jermaine Kareem Mully. And the title of this video is The Power of the Weight and or Power in the Weight. W-A-I-T, Power in the Weight. And that title by itself can preach because a lot of us understand and we've heard Many people tell us that patience is a virtue. Uh, in the church, we've heard people say, you have to be patient with God because God knows best. We've heard people say that God's timing is his purpose. And I hear almost every Sunday, my pastors say this, you have to wait on God because if God brought you to it, he'll bring you through it. And these are all great statements, quotes, clauses, great inspirations, and it's the truth. But we as homo sapiens, we still have to live it out. We still have to experience that which we preach we still have to experience what we read we still have to experience it if we are to become followers of him carrying the cross and following him denying ourselves and being persecuted for his name's sake and we understand that but every now and then we still need to be, rem be reminded we still need that word that would give us Hallelujah. A strengthened heart that will encourage our souls. And that's what this video is about. It's about encouraging each of us. Whether you may be a Christian. Whether you may be a Muslim. Whether you may be an ag atheist, agnostic. It, it doesn't matter. Because we all, this is one thing that I can say without a doubt that we all experience uh, and time is something that a lot of us struggle with because we cannot control it and for you who have been feeling burdened and you feel like the stress has caused your nerves to go haywire you feel that tugging that uh, kind of that pulsating feeling in your head and every now and then you call it a migraine and some of you feel this burden and this holiday this heaviness on your back and, and you feel like on your atlas you feel like like there's just a pain that is, your spinal cord is somehow distorted and now it's not as you know it's not a straight you don't have that peace you don't have that comfort you feel like as you're walking hallelujah that you're walking and you're carrying loads and loads and some of you feel like you're sleeping your eyes feel like like somehow your eyes are just uh, moving as though your heart your pulse and your, your heart rate is beating and you feel like like you just need rest and your your mind just feels heavy you feel like you just have too much in your mind it feels clouded as though you're in a room with with cigarettes and weed and black amount and you just feel congested in this video I speak I decree it that this video will help you, will encourage you, it will point you back to that origin of truth and it will give you hope and understanding to why we are to wait and why, hallelujah, it's so important for us to be still and just wait on God. As a lot of us know or what we've heard is that there are some benefits of waiting. And I just want to tell you that it is true. Because if you are a follower of Christ and you do understand that the word of God uh, mm, is your manual, you will understand that the word of God tells us on many accounts. In the book of Psalms, you can read the book of Lamentation. Many books, even the Old Testament scriptures, the Hebrew canticles, and you read, it gives us understanding of what 
waiting does and waiting according to Psalms 27 and Psalms 31. It tells us that if we wait on God and we be of good courage, he will strengthen our heart. He strengthens the heart of all those who wait on him. And to have a strengthened heart is to have a heart of hope, a heart that is of endurance, a heart of stability, a heart that is not going to collapse uh, because of the adipose, extra adipose tissue around it. It's not going to collapse because there's too much fat and there's too much uh, conglomerate things around it. It's, it's free. A heart that has been strengthened is a heart. Mm, that's almost been renewed, a heart that has been replenished, a heart that has been revitalized. And the word of God said, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. We have to understand that in order for us to wait on God, we have to rest in him. We have to rest in him. Psalms 37, 7 tells us that we have to rest in him. You see, those who rest in God will wait patiently for him. You see, and then there's a benefit with that. Because the word of God says, those who wait patiently on him, hallelujah, the seventh verse, tells that we shall, they shall, we shall, they shall inherit the earth. So the benefit is that God, after waiting, God will move on our behalf. And we shall have that inheritance. Of the earth. You see, because the God that we serve, the Lord Adonai, is waiting on us to wait on Him so that He may be gracious unto us. Hallelujah. The Word of God tells us that blessed are they that wait on the Lord, blessed are they whose trust is in the Lord thy God. Because he is waiting on us to wait on him. So in that wait, he, he may be gracious unto us. Hallelujah, because we have waited on the wait. When we wait on God, it may feel like we cannot wait any longer. We may feel like the tension and the stress and the burden, the heaviness is too much. It feels like the fire has been lit not just seven times hotter, but seven times, seven times hotter. Uh, but the word of God comes to tell us that as we're waiting on him, he's renewing our strength. And sometimes when we're feeling, hallelujah, like we can't hold on anymore, that's the time we ought to hold on because we're that close to the end. It is like that runner that's running. And he's on the 100 meter, that last turn. He's on the last turn and he's coming to the, the, to the finish line. And he sometimes feel like he can't make it. It's like, oh man, I put so much in in the beginning. I don't think I could make it to the end. But if he would just finish strong, he would get an, that reward, that great eternal reward, that eternal weight, that glory of God. And, and and it's important for us to understand that we are in the third trimester. We are about to give birth. Hallelujah. And that's why it feels so, uh, it's agonizing and the pain is excruciating. And we feel so much burdens from people around us and people are talking and your mistakes are talking to you. Your past is talking to you and your errors that you've done, they keep Flashing your mind like a movie, a paramount, just over and over. Even when you're trying to move forward, you're in church. It just comes back in your mind over and over what I've done. This person that I see, oh God, every time I see him, it reminds me of what I've done in the past. And it plays over and over. And the enemy just keeps shooting it into my spirit that I am the same. I have not changed. I am no good. I am not worthy of the divine calling. But I've come to tell you that the enemy is alive. The truth is not in him. He has no light and he cannot understand the light. He cannot comprehend the light. But the light that has shown in our heart, in the weight, lets us know that God is for us. So no one can, hallelujah, mm, hallelujah, oppose that which God has put in place. If we allow him, if we wait on the weight, if we have hope in it. 
and it's that hope and that trust that keeps us there. Hallelujah, we are to feel the tension because we're approaching that moment of glory, that greatness, that exceeding, hallelujah, mm. oh Jesus, gift, hallelujah, that he's given and granted unto us. And it may be something that may seem small in other people's eyes, but that job, hallelujah, that job could be the beginning, hallelujah, the initiative process to get you, hallelujah, into that place that God has for you, that place of resources, prosperity, that place of wealth, hallelujah, not just physically, I'm talking about in the spirit, that wealth that gives us that joy and that peace that transcends all that our mind can grasp, that transcends anything the world can even try to give unto us, hallelujah, that favor that man cannot just give you but that favor hallelujah of God that opens door that no man can shut and close door that no man can open hallelujah open up gates that men will bring gifts hallelujah pour into your bosom that that hallelujah that favor that will convert the abundance of the sea into your life oh God it's that type of weight, that power in the weight that the enemy is fighting you. Hallelujah. Fighting your patience, fighting your endurance, fighting your perseverance so that you would not receive that because he doesn't want that for you. Yeah. If you get that which he's trying to block, you will cause havoc in his life because your joy will increase, because your peace will increase, because your patience will increase. And with that patience, uh, God is going to give you double for that trouble because of that patient because of you trusting and not wavering because of you waiting on God and staying in his will you are now on the agenda of God so you now have access uh, into hallelujah realms and dimensions that others have not tapped into Ha, and that will bring you all that you need so that you're able to bring your family, your friends, your associates, even your enemies into the place that they are supposed to be in. You are that main line. You are that entryway into, oh God, for your family to be blessed. And he's trying to cut that off. But I come to tell you, wait on the Lord. There is power in the wait. For in the beginning of the world, men did not hear, men could not see with their eyes, they couldn't understand it, uh, they could not have seen any God besides God himself, they did not understand it, Isaiah 64, 4 tells us, hallelujah, they could not see, but this God is the God who acts on behalf of those who wait for him, they could not understand it, they could not perceive it, see, conceive it with eyes, any other God who would act like him, only he alone, no other God besides him, acts on the behalf of those who wait for him. Ha. Ah. See, because the Lord, hallelujah, according to the book of Lamentation, the third chapter, he's good to those who wait for him, who seeks him, who wait for him. He is good to them. Because it takes faith in that waiting process. In that due season, it takes faith. It takes you hallelujah, enduring the beatings of the waves just hitting you, the people talking about your family, telling you you'll never be anything Hallelujah, church folks telling you, hallelujah, because you've done this, you've done that, you'll never amount to anything. God is not going to bless that mess. Hallelujah, it takes you standing strong, anchored in the Lord to endure the tasks and turnings of the waves. Hallelujah, and the beat.